Hello there and uh, welcome back. In this video I am going to share with you the best resources that uh, you as an Android developer are going to need if you are planning to stay uh, up to date with uh, all new technologies, APIs, news and more. Now, uh, being up to date in Android world uh, has always been a challenge, and uh, we developers uh, must uh, keep up with uh, all new technologies and improvements that uh, are released by the official Android team. But uh, sometimes we miss those uh, information from the official sources, and we end up uh, hearing about them months or even a year after its initial release. Also, uh, having too much information can be difficult as well. So being able to filter the relevant information is a must-have skill for every developer. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's start with the resource number one. Also, if you think that uh, I have missed uh, some good uh, source of information, then uh, be sure to comment down below and let me know. Okay, so the first uh, category of uh, resources is uh, blogs. Now the first uh, and the most relevant blog that uh, you should know about uh, already is uh, Android Developers Blog. So this is the uh, official Android Developers Blog, which is uh, maintained by the official Android Developers team. And uh, here on this blog you are going to find uh, the most relevant uh, and up-to-date uh, information, which is uh, related to the Android uh, world. Now here you can just uh, scroll down below and check out different kind of uh, blogs that uh, are already published uh, to this uh, blog. But also what you can do, you can just uh, search here for a specific blog or you can access the actual archive. So here you can access and find uh, how many blogs uh, were published uh, in uh, each uh, and every month here as you can see. And as you can see at the moment uh, it's uh, a December 2022 which uh, has just started. Which means that uh, in December we have only one blog while in uh, November we had uh, 22 blogs instead. And we can just uh, open up that uh, archive for that specific uh, month and we can check out and see uh, what uh, actual blogs were uh, released in that specific month, right? Okay, uh, so the next uh, relevant uh, blog is uh, Material Design Blog. So this is the blog where uh, you will find uh, all the information that uh, is uh, related to the material design of course. As you can see if we scroll down below you are going to see that recently we have uh, seen a great news about uh, the release of a Relay uh, plugin for uh, Android Studio and uh, Figma. So here you can just uh, open up this blog and check out uh, all the newest information that uh, are related to the material design uh, system. In this case material design uh, 3 is uh, the newest uh, design system at the moment. Uh, the next uh, blog that uh, you should know about is a Firebase blog, so of course uh, this blog is uh, important for those uh, who are actually using the Firebase in their uh, project, so uh, you can just scroll down below and check out uh, all different kind of blogs that uh, were released uh, from the newest date, of course. You can also uh, check out different uh, categories uh, from here, for example the Android. We can just select that uh, category and we can, uh, and we can check uh, all blogs that were written in that specific uh, category. As you can see, the newest blogs are always on the top. There you go. Uh, the next uh, resource that I want to share with you is not actually a blog, but it's a uh, recent release notes instead. So this uh, web page is uh, very important because here you will find uh, the latest release notes about uh, all different uh, libraries that are developed and uh, maintained by the official Android developers team. So here we can check out and see different kind of uh, channels. We can check uh, only the stable channels, the released candidates, uh, beta or even alpha. In this case I have just selected the all, so I want to check and see uh, all the releases uh, about uh, every library out there. As you can see at the moment of uh, recording this video, the last uh, release was published on November uh, 22nd, 2022. And down below we can scroll and see uh, different kind of uh, libraries and uh, their versions that were published for a specific date that we can see right here. So as you can see here we have a composed animation for example, material 3 and so on and so on. And we can of course uh, open up one of those releases and we can read about uh, uh, what kind of uh, things or API changes were made to that specific version. In this case we have a uh, alpha 02 and we can read uh, what uh, new things uh, were introduced in this uh, new version and we can check out and see also what uh, bugs are uh, fixed with that uh, new version as well. So in this case I have selected material 3, we can also scroll down below and check out uh, the older versions of this uh, same library as well. And of course here we can go back to, to this uh, recent release nodes and we can check out and see a categorized uh, menu here on the right side where we can search those releases by a specific date. So bottom line, uh, be sure to bookmark this uh, website or this uh, page as well. 
And the last resource that I want to mention here uh, in this uh, blogs category is a Medium website. So I'm sure that you have already heard about the Medium. And if you haven't, then I highly suggest you to just uh, go there and uh, register uh, or create a new account uh, on a medium and after you create an account on medium you can of course uh, follow uh, some relevant people there uh, that release uh, interesting and uh, important uh, blogs uh, about you know, your specific topic that you are searching for in this case as you can see i have basically uh, subscribed or i'm following uh, four different uh, topics on a medium so android development design technology and programming also, you can of course uh, follow different kind of uh, people and even uh, publications as well. In this case, at the moment, I'm following uh, only Android developers' uh, publication. But the important thing here to note is that uh, based on those uh, topics uh, that you have actually followed on Medium, you are going to receive a newsletter on your email address about the recent relevant uh, blogs that are associated with those uh, topics that you have uh, followed, right? So be sure to follow uh, some interesting topics about uh, Android development or any other topic that uh, you're interested in. And then you are going to receive occasional emails from Medium, which is a great thing. Now, uh, the next uh, category of uh, resources is uh, for a newsletter. So for a newsletter, I have uh, two uh, quite important websites that you can check out. The first one is uh, Android Weekly and the second one is uh, Kotlin Weekly. So uh, you should definitely subscribe to those uh, uh, newsletters like the Android and the Kotlin Weekly because on a weekly basis uh, you are going to receive an email from them where you can check out uh, different kind of uh, articles, uh, blogs, tutorials, uh, libraries, uh, videos, podcasts and many more. So basically on a weekly basis you're going to receive uh, the newest and the latest uh, information about uh, the Kotlin and Android as well. So be sure to subscribe to those uh, two newsletters. So uh, that was everything about the newsletters uh, category of uh, resources. Uh, now the next uh, category is uh, for a podcast. And for a podcast, uh, I have only uh, one website which is relevant for Android developers, and that is the Android Developers uh, Backstage. So this is a website where you can uh, basically uh, listen to different kind of uh, podcasts that uh, are related to the Android development. So basically here you can just uh, scroll down below and uh, see uh, what kind of a uh, podcast uh, was released on a which date specifically and you can just uh, play one of those uh, podcasts uh, while you're uh, working on something uh, else uh, on your computer which i do quite a lot okay so the next category of uh, resources for android developers is a uh, youtube channel so there are three main youtube channels that uh, i'm going to point out here and now you might be wondering uh, why only three uh, well in this case i'm going to show you only the official sources uh, of uh, YouTube channels. In this case, we have a uh, Android Developers YouTube channel, we have a Material Design YouTube channel, and a Firebase as well. So there are also a couple of more uh, interesting YouTube channels that uh, post some relevant uh, information about the Android development in general, including my channel. But in this case, I have decided to uh, mention only those uh, three official sources that you should definitely follow. And the last uh, category of uh, resources that I want to share with you uh, will be a category of others and in that last uh, others category I would say Twitter. So why Twitter? Uh, well because on um, Twitter we can follow all different kind of uh, people that uh, are actually coming from the official Android developers team but not just them we can also follow some different uh, uh, pages for example like uh, Android, Android developers, uh, Android weekly, Kotlin and so on and the best thing about Twitter is that uh, you are going to receive the occasional notifications about uh, about the relevant uh, tweets from those people that you are actually following. So I would also suggest uh, to install the actual Twitter application on your smartphone device and that way you will be able to receive the notification whenever uh, one of those people that you are following posts a new tweet. So at the moment I'm uh, following uh, mostly uh, those uh, people that are actually coming from the official Android developers team because they are posting the most relevant uh, information about the uh, Android itself. And if you don't know uh, who to actually follow, uh, then you can just um, uh, write here the Android hashtag in this uh, search bar and then you can uh, select this uh, people category because that way you can find uh, all different peoples that are actually posting on that specific uh, hashtag. Okay, so those were all the resources that uh, personally I do follow and uh, use uh, in my everyday's work. 
I know that there are uh, also quite a lot of different uh, useful uh, sources of information when it comes to the Android development. So uh, if you think that I have skipped uh, or missed uh, some uh, good resource of information, then uh, be sure to comment down below and let me know. Also, be sure to like this video but only if you find it helpful. For this video, that will be all.